Welcome to Water Art. I've got the Water Art website here. And let's just go and navigate around. And the most important thing is if you want to register for an event, just click here. And we've got some continuing education workshops, a recertification workshop, and some different certifications in the water as well as on land, and some different conferences which combine both continuing education course workshops and certification programs. And then sometimes we post uh, exam dates. And then if you go over to this side, this is an advanced search engine. So if you ever want to find anything just put it in and anything to do with mitts would pop up uh, very simply. We also have our members only section and if you have joined our water art membership you can log in for extra resource and educational material. We also have a personal trainer membership, weight management, and a master trainer login. So let's look at the message board and this is just some information as to how to use the message board. But simply, um, if you want to go to the calendar and see what's happening, click there. If you want to post any type of announcement or a job posting, you can go there. To get out of the message board, just click on Water Art and that'll bring you back to the home page. Now, underneath the first um, toolbar is all of our different programs, and we do have a lot of different programs, and I briefly talked about our membership program, which gives you many benefits and a free gift, and this is an optional program. So if you click on these gifts, you can see what you get for your value. We always say the first time you're registering or purchasing a product, you want to probably phone because you can't set your own registration um, rate with the member only automated discount. With that said, you may certainly, um, you know, uh, browse around and have a nice look. Then here is our event schedule, which I talked about before, so there's another way to get to that. All of our different types of programs, and you'll see we have many water certification programs as well as land certifications. And then we have a weight management program that is applicable to both land and water instructors, as well as each professional will have to do some what we call CEC workshops or continuing education workshops. And we have some specialized water safety training and running clinics. And there's many, many, many training dates for all of these continuing education work course workshops. If you click on one of the uh, certifications, you can see what's involved in the program and all the things we'll go through with the theory as well as some practical skills and drills. We combine classroom with practical pool skills and drills. And again, we'll give you an agenda. And uh, ideally, you have to be flexible as an instructor. But we will um, blend in some theory and classroom with some practical skills and drills. Here's how to complete the certification process and all of our home study options. So whether you train on site, register on site for an on site training event, or purchase your home study materials, um, you certainly have the same uh, benefits and credentials at the end. And you also have some choices when it comes to the certification process. Now let's go back to that certification process. So again, depending on which program you take, we have two types of certifications. The comprehensive certification program, which require both a theory and practical assessment. And these are our core programs. So ideally you want to start at the instructor and work in to more senior populations because that's definitely a growing market and more specialized one-on-one -on -one training, weight management, rehabilitation, which is also one-on-one, -on -one, and sports conditioning. 
That's a little bit about our comprehensive certification programs. Now let's look at all the specialty programs and there is a difference in terms of how to complete the exam process. So these are our specialty certifications and essentially they only require um, a theory exam if you are current with your qualifications. If you're new to water art or you have expired, you will have to complete both a theory and a practical assessment. All of these exams can again be done via home study training or on-site education. So there's a lot going on um, and again a lot of different types of programming. Now one of the things we often get asked is how do you renew your certification and the great thing is dependent on which level you're certified and some people have multi certifications they all renew or expire the same day so achieving another level of certification will automatically upgrade your qualifications for um, two years and give you more qualifications Let's look at um, all of our different master trainers and we certainly have a lot all through North America and a lot of our master trainers are more than willing to travel to you. We just require 10 to 15 people to facilitate a, an on-site training event. Now people ask about how do you become a master trainer? Well, you most definitely have to be gold certified and have um, at least five levels of certification. There's a lot of people with five levels of certification that are not master trainers but have achieved a wonderful level of expertise and again we've been talking a little bit about hosting event and again we definitely want to make it cost effective and simple for you to come to um, an event with water art and if you're going to be the host you mix and match whatever education you prefer us to feature so that your um, facility and instructor team and of course patrons benefit and as I say usually we um, like to be well organized um, at least two to four months in advance when we get into here we're talking more specifically about the weight management program and the battle of the bulge is an ongoing thing and everybody wants to live a healthy um, and um, lively life and uh, balancing your nutrition with stress management and regular exercise is key to um, lifestyle and positive lifestyle change so that program talks about that um, and then we've got some testimonials and one of my favorite um, is Barbara's story and if you click on Barbara's story um, she is a woman in Columbia South Carolina that had major medical issues and the orthopedic surgeon said that she sh you know basically should be medicated and not able to um, get out of a wheelchair and we thought different with our water art programs and she bravely came to the water and she has now since evol evolved into an instructor um, she's got amazing skills in the water and a good understanding of the water and now a love of the water um, so she helps others and that's just a wonderful story um, if you do want to look at all of our different DVDs we've got not all of them but some of them um, you can see a little bit um, of them and this is our uh, very extensive DVD library we've got a lot of different stuff we've got some land and we've got some membership and we've got some different water programs the next thing we are going to talk about is different products that we sell on the Water Art website. And pretty well, other than the on-site events and the memberships, these are all located here. So if you click on um, some water education, we either have full home study programs that will be soon available via video streaming and download. Um, then we've got some continuing education course hours. We've got lots of DVDs that you can look through. Our best value is buy for get either one DVD free or buy for and get um, your CC quizzes free. 
and with each of the DVDs we have what's called a continuing education quiz where you can get continuing education hours of two to four hours depending on if the DVD has one or two discs. We have some wall charts that helps your patrons understand the moves. It's often very hard to hear in um, a pool area and some laminated program cards that help to guide the exercises along. We've also got some DVD ROMs that just play on a computer. Um, another area that we have is all the land education. It's very similar to the water only. Obviously you teach on land. Um, we don't have quite as many land programs but we're building consistently and what's really neat is um, again some of the professionals teach both land and water so it's nice to be certified with one organization. If we look at our next area is all of our endurance wear and we really try to dress for success with water art and have good endurance wear such as bathing suits, a multitude of suits with and without a bra with different style backs. We also have, you know, some jammers or roofer shorts for men. We have an anatomy suit and lots of body suits. And traditionally, the water is a little cooler in some pools, or some people get to work outside, so they need more um, sun protection. We just have a lot of different fun outfits that, again, help us to flaunt our stuff. Woo, that's scary for Halloween, but you don't need the headpiece. Um, we can definitely just um, have the full body suit with the hands and the feet and not wear the head. And we've got lots of different sizes and this is all custom wear, um, fully endurance, zipper up the front and again based on your size we can make it longer or shorter. We do charge a slightly extra fee if you want custom wear but again um, it lasts for a long time so it's worth uh, fitting uh, you, you properly. We've got lots of leopard wear and uh, we want to have some fun in the water and again we get sick of the humdrum black and blue. Let's look um, now at uh, the different footwear we have. So we've got lots of different shoes um, in many different styles and sizes. This is more of an instructor shoe which is awesome. Um, for people that need more support and a lot of people do because they have bad hips, knees and back and just invest in a nice pair of shoes. The sports sandal, whether for women or men, is particularly good for uh, people with wider feet. And then we also have what's called a surf walker, which is more of a slip on and it's a little less expensive shoe. But everybody, uh, particularly in shallow water, should have shoes because it prevents slipping and falling. Then we've got lots of water equipment and we've kind of coined it buoyancy equipment. Stuff that floats versus resistive equipment, stuff that sinks versus added value kits if you want a whole bunch of things and then we've got some tubing for land or water. So let's look at some of the equipment. This is great value particularly if um, you know, you want to outfit your whole class or team. Um, this is the regular price, so if you were to become a member, you would save 20 to 25 percent. So that's wonderful value that will pretty well pay for your membership the first time. So if you are a member and you're purchasing stuff, you would simply log in and you would order. Um, oops. <laughs> The next thing we are going to talk about is different products that we sell on the Water Art website. And pretty well, other than the on-site events and the memberships, these are all located here. So if you click on um, some water education, we either have full home study programs that will be soon available via video streaming and download. Um, then we've got some continuing education course hours. We've got lots of DVDs that you can look through. Our best value is buy, forget, 
either one DVD free or buy four and get um, your CC quizzes free. And with each of the DVDs, we have what's called a continuing education quiz, where you can get continuing education hours of two to four hours, depending on if the DVD has one or two discs. We have some wall charts that helps your patrons understand the moves. It's often very hard to hear in um, a pool area and some laminated program cards that help to guide the exercises along. We've also got some DVD ROMs that just play on a computer. Um, another area that we have is all the land education. It's very similar to the water only. Obviously you teach on land. Um, we don't have quite as many land programs but we're building consistently and what's really neat is um, again some of the professionals teach both land and water so it's nice to be certified with one organization. If we look at our next area is all of our endurance wear and we really try to dress for success with water art and have good endurance wear such as bathing suits, a multitude of suits with and without a bra with different style backs. We also have, you know, some jammers or roofer shorts for men. We have an anatomy suit and lots of body suits. And traditionally, the water is a little cooler in some pools, or some people get to work outside, so they need more um, sun protection. We just have a lot of different fun outfits that, again, help us to flaunt our stuff. Woo, that's scary for Halloween, but you don't need the headpiece. Um, we can definitely just um, have the full body suit with the hands and the feet and not wear the head. And we've got lots of different sizes and this is all custom wear, um, fully endurance, zipper up the front. And again, based on your size, we can make it longer or shorter. We do charge a slightly extra fee if you want custom wear. But again, um, it lasts for a long time, so it's worth uh, fitting uh, you, you properly. We've got lots of leopard wear and uh, we want to have some fun in the water. And again, we get sick of the humdrum black and blue. Let's look um, now at uh, the different footwear we have. So we've got lots of different shoes um, in many different styles and sizes. This is more of an instructor shoe, which is awesome um, for people that need more support. And a lot of people do because they have bad hips, knees, and back and just invest in a nice pair of shoes. The sports sandal, whether for women or men, is particularly good for uh, people with wider feet. And then we also have what's called a surf walker, which is more of a slip-on, and it's a little less expensive shoe. But everybody, uh, particularly in shallow water, should have shoes because it prevents slipping and falling. Then we've got lots of water equipment and we've kind of coined it buoyancy equipment, stuff that floats versus resistive equipment, stuff that sinks versus added value kits if you want a whole bunch of things. And then we've got some tubing for land or water. So let's look at some of the equipment. This is great value, particularly if, um, you know, you want to outfit your whole class or team. Um, this is the regular price, so if you were to become a member, you would save 20 to 25 percent. So that's wonderful value that will pretty well pay for your membership the first time. Now let's look at some accessories. So we've got a voice amplifier, some sport towels, water bottles, thermal vests, and again, Basically, you want to make sure everything's fitted properly. Um, I don't know how that got there, but uh, we'll have to fix that one up. Um, we should have the other thermal vest in there, but I think it's in apparel. Um, we've got it in two spots, but that's okay. If we typed in vests, it would come up in many different spots, so that's good to know. Yep, lots of vests. So let's go back so I'm not confusing you. 
um, to the accessories and we've got different mats for instructors which um, you know are expensive but they last a long time and they definitely um, help to prevent slipping and falling on a wet tiled deck so they're very advantageous we've got lots of bags um, you do need to carry your wet gear so to have uh, a net bag is great you have to let equipment vent in air otherwise it gets moldy which once you have mold you can't get rid of mold we also as I say have the voice amplifiers which really over a football field they're terribly terribly loud uh, but that's great in the acoustics of a pool or a large studio and they're rechargeable so this is a really nice thing um, you can replace the batteries but you'd probably only do that every two years and the reason most people have to replace batteries is these are rechargeable batteries so they have a memory and and in essence, um, you know, you can't keep charging it. You've got to use it for, you know, 12 to 15 hours. Then you let the batteries drain. And then most definitely um, you charge it when you start to hear that it's um, losing its steam. We also sell individual headsets and that way a team, an instructor team, can each person can buy the headset, but they can all share the rechargeable voice amplifier. We have lots of different music and again a lot of group exercise classes use music and often um, you know they want some type of a beat. Um, we can download it and play the music. Um, that's a loud one but that's okay. Um, we'll get out of that. So out we go. Um, but they can have a little test of the music and again choose something that enhances the program that's not just terribly, terribly loud. We also have products for babies and these are called baby boats and you put the, the tot in the boat and then the person, the parent or the grandparent can exercise. We also have some of the Speedo vests. Um, then this is a nice category. This is stuff that we are trying to downsize with, but it's nice because, again, it's good quality stuff. We just have a lot of it. Um, somehow we got extra stock, so these are half price, really. Um, it should say $70, and we're selling them for $35, which is amazing. And we've got some shirts and some suits and a t-shirt and lots of great stuff. Now this is the only section that your WP membership doesn't automate on because most of the time there's great um, discount anyway so we don't give you a further discount if you will on the final sale items. Another thing we are going to talk about is how to order online and I'm actually going to run you through it because you can log in here um, everybody's user, username is their email address and then everybody has their own personal password or if you don't know it um, you can always click the forgotten link password and I may not have typed properly so I think I have my caps on so it is case sensitive I do have my caps on so I'll turn that off and then I'll log in and Viola, here I am. And what's really nice is all your account information is in uh, the members or the My Account section and what you've been working on and then basically your order history. And as I say, you can change your address. Um, you can... Um, upgrade your membership here if you want a, more of a discount you get your ten dollars off on your memberships in this section which is really really nice okay another um, thing you need to know in my account is um, there is as I say all your certification details and all your membership benefits so there's a lot of different stuff here so please check it out and we do try and track your CC hours so that you can keep tra track of renewing every two years because that's industry standard 
All right. And uh, with that said, if you don't have an account with us, you always need to create an account. And you'll need to create an account in order to buy any of our products. And we can just go here. Don't need to enter that. But let me use a different email because I don't think it will allow me to use the same email again. And I think I have a lot of different emails. I hope I can spell. Anyways, let's do our 210 South 8th Street. And that would be Lewiston, New York. And notice that it defaults to U.S., so if I was in Canada, Canada I'd have to drop this down. But I choose um, the, the New York address at this point. And I do have to fill in all the, the fields that there's little asterisks. Okay, and then you can talk about how you heard about this and then set your own password. Ah, so there I have created an account and as I say in order to order anything or register you have to create an account. Now this particular event is a bit unique in that the city is doing registration but the next event I can definitely look at the flyer and see um, more information about our event. Okay, and this is nice. I can print off and it's all very concise. I can mail in a registration. I can see all the times and the dates and I can also see who's teaching and a little bit about them. And I can see if I register for this event, um, dependent on the date, oh, I've missed the early bird date, what rate I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna get the uh, regular rate because I'm past the early bird. Oh, and I already have stuff in my shopping cart. So let's remove it and you must update it. And let's say I want my uh, materials in advance. Let's add that check mark. Okay, and then it's asking me would I like a large net bag? Hmm, so I could. I could use a couple of those. So let's add them to the cart and if I want four bags I can update and that will save. If I forget to update, so if I just change this, and a lot of people do this, and I go to check out, um, oh, it, it's going to, and we always want to rate any comments, leave it on the veranda, whatever. But um, I'll just do a phone order. I won't put my credit card in, but if I wanted to put my credit card, I'd have to push this one. Everybody will agree to this because often banks have surcharges and we don't want you to, um, you know, be stuck with extra charges. So you can always check your bank. Um, let's continue on. And as I talked about, um, it only is with the four bags, not with the five because I forgot to click that button. But let's go back to my shopping cart and I want to add something else, maybe some DVDs. So let's add some DVDs. Let's buy four because I need another um, quizzes. I want more information. I can answer these quizzes anytime. Update that and then I'm going to check out. I've already got my bags. But I would like, please, whoops, please give me four quizzes. DVD 059, DVD 060, DVD, and we use the numbers because we have so many different shallow and deep water programs that it gets really confusing. So if I itemize the DVDs I need, whether... Um, so that it's always in the system. That's a good idea. Continue on. Maybe this time um, I can't play by credit card because it's not going to authorize, but I'll try. So I'll do 444, 444. Oh, I don't think that will work. 4120, 444, 444, 444, 
I can do this 2008 and then the authenticity is 111. I don't think this is going to authorize. Um, and if I want to give myself a, a pickup, a, a discount code, there usually is one for the event if I am a staff. So all of a sudden I'm going to become staff and I'm going to put in a coupon code and redeem it. Oh, it's an invalid code, so it's probably the other way around. Um, and I could put the, this in, but it's not going to allow me because I don't have a real... Oh, I got to retype all the DVDs I want. Oh, no. Well, that's how it is. Um, when you make a boo-boo, sometimes you got to just fix it. And DVD, and then I I'm putting in the order, so I usually initial it when it's a head office order. It's still an invalid coupon code, so let's not worry about it. And then I still have to put in the the um, whatever DVDs, so that it's always on the invoice. And and then off we go. So here's my final order. It is going to charge me shipping because I did request it. And I do have specific items. Let's confirm the order. And what's really cool is now if this is the front of my website. Now let's look at some accessories. So we've got a voice amplifier, some sport towels, water bottles, thermal vests. And again, basically, you want to make sure everything's fitted properly. Um, I don't know how that got there, but uh, we'll have to fix that one up. Um, we should have the other thermal vests in there, but I think it's in apparel. Um, we've got it in two spots, but that's okay. If we typed in vests, it would come up in many different spots, so that's good to know. Yep, lots of us. So let's go back so I'm not confusing you um, to the accessories. And we've got different mats for instructors, which, um, you know, are expensive, but they last a long time. And they definitely um, help to prevent slipping and falling on a wet tiled deck. So they're very advantageous. We've got lots of bags. Um, you do need to carry your wet gear, so to have uh, a net bag is great. You have to let equipment vent in air, otherwise it gets moldy, which once you have mold, you can't get rid of mold. We also, as I say, have the voice amplifiers, which really over a football field, they're terribly, terribly loud. Uh, but that's great in the acoustics of a pool or a large studio. And they're rechargeable. So this is a really nice thing. Um, you can replace the batteries, but you'd probably only do that every two years. And the reason most people have to replace batteries is these are rechargeable batteries. So they have a memory. And in essence, um, you know, you can't keep charging it. You've got to use it for, you know, 12 to 15 hours. Then you let the batteries drain. And then most definitely um, you charge it when you start to hear that it's um, losing its steam. We also sell individual headsets, and that way a team, an instructor team, can each person can buy the headset, but they can all share the rechargeable voice amplifier. We have lots of different music, and again, a lot of group exercise classes use music, and often, um, you know, they want some type of a beat. Um, we can download it and play the music. Um, that's a loud one, but that's okay. Um, we'll get out of that. So out we go. Um, but they can have a little test of the music and, again, choose something that enhances the program that's not just terribly, terribly loud. We also have products for babies, and these are called baby boats, and you put the, the tot in the boat, and then the person, the parent or the grandparent can exercise. We also have some of the Speedo vests. 
um, then this is a nice category. This is stuff that we are trying to downsize with, but it's nice because, again, it's good quality stuff. We just have a lot of it. Um, somehow we got extra stock, so these are half price, really. Um, it should say $70, and we're selling them for $35, which is amazing. And we've got some shirts and some suits and a t-shirt and lots of great stuff. Now this is the only section that your WP membership doesn't automate on because most of the time there's great um, discount anyway so we don't give you a further discount if you will on the final sale items. Another thing we are going to talk about is how to order online and I'm actually going to run you through it because you can log in here um, everybody's user, username is their email address and then everybody has their own personal password or if you don't know it um, you can always click the forgotten link password and I may not have typed properly so I think I have my caps on so it is case sensitive I do have my caps on so I'll turn that off and then I'll log in and Viola, here I am. And what's really nice is all your account information is in uh, the members or the My Account section and what you've been working on and then basically your order history. And as I say, you can change your address. Um, you can um, upgrade your membership here if you want a, more of a discount you get your ten dollars off on your memberships in this section which is really really nice okay another um, thing you need to know in my account is um, there is as I say all your certification details and all your membership benefits so there's a lot of different stuff here so please check it out and we do try and track your CC hours so that you can keep tra track of renewing every two years because that's industry standard all right and uh, with that said, if you don't have an account with us, you always need to create an account and you'll need to create an account in order to buy any of our products. And we can just go here. Don't need to enter that, but let me use a different email because I don't think it will allow me to use the same email again. And I think I have a lot of different emails. I hope I can spell. Anyways, let's do our 210 South 8th Street, and that would be Lewiston, New York. And notice that it defaults to U.S., so if I was in Canada, Canada I'd have to drop this down. But I choose um, the, the New York address at this point, and I do have to fill in all the the fields that there's little asterisks okay and then you can talk about how you heard about this and then set your own password ah so there i have created an account and as I say, in order to order anything or register, you have to create an account. Now, this particular event is a bit unique in that the city is doing registration. But the next event, I can definitely look at the flyer and see um, more information about our event. Okay, and this is nice. I can print off and it's all very concise. I can mail in a registration. I can see all the times and the dates and I can also see who's teaching and a little bit about them. And I can see if I register for this event um, dependent on the date, oh, I've missed the early bird date, what rate I'm going to get. And I'm going to get the uh, regular rate because I'm past the early bird. Oh, and I already have stuff in my shopping cart. So let's remove it and you must update it. And let's say I want my uh, materials in advance. Let's add that check mark. Okay, and then it's asking me, would I like a large net bag? Hmm. 
So I could, I could use a couple of those. So let's add them to the cart. And if I want four bags, I can update and that will save. If I forget to update, so if I just change this, and a lot of people do this, and I go to check out, um, oh, it, it's going to, and we always want to rate any comments, leave it on the veranda, whatever. But um, I'll just do a phone order. I won't put my credit card in. But if I wanted to put my credit card, I'd have to push this one. Everybody will agree to this because often banks have surcharges. And we don't want you to, um, you know, be stuck with extra charges. So you can always check your bank. Um, let's continue on. And as I talked about, um, it only is with the four bags, not with the five, because I forgot to click that button. But let's go back to my shopping cart and I want to add something else, maybe some DVDs. So let's add some DVDs. Let's buy four because I need another um, quizzes. I want more information. I can answer these quizzes anytime. Update that and then I'm going to check out. I've already got my bags. But I would like, please, oops, please give me four quizzes. DVD 059, DVD 060, DVD, and we use the numbers because we have so many different shallow and deep water programs that it gets really confusing. So if I itemize the DVDs I need, whether... Um, so that it's always in the system. That's a good idea. Continue on. Maybe this time um, I can't play by credit card because it's not going to authorize, but I'll try. So I'll do 444, 444. Oh, I don't think that will work. 4120, 444, 444, 444. I can do this 2008 and then the authenticity is 111. I don't think this is going to authorize. Um, and if I want to give myself a, a pickup, a, a discount code, there usually is one for the event if I am a staff. So all of a sudden I'm going to become staff and I'm going to put in a coupon code and redeem it. Oh, it's an invalid code. So it's probably the other way around. Um, and I could put the, this in, but it's not going to allow me because I don't have a real. Oh, I got to retype all the DVDs I want. Oh, no. Well, that's how it is. Um, when you make a boo boo, sometimes you got to just fix it. And DVD. And then I, I'm putting in the order, so I usually initial it when it's a head office order. It's still an invalid coupon code, so let's not worry about it. And then I still have to put in the, the um, whatever, DVDs, so that it's always on the invoice. And, and then off we go. So here's my final order. It is going to charge me shipping because I did request it and I do have specific items let's confirm the order and what's really cool is now if this is the front of my website so if now this is the front of the website I've got the browser open to the admin and now I can go into the orders And there should be my order processing. Yeah. Now I can choose to say, oh, she didn't really pay. Because when I look at my email, there is no um, rendering of money. I'll just put it as a query order, meaning they thought about it, but they're not sure. But they did put it through. And then we should email the person by just clicking on that. And that pops up the email. And uh, again, you can choose 
the unpaid order, which is probably way down here under you for unpaid order and ask a little bit about that. Um, this system is a little bit different than um, the computer at the office, but it still has all the signatures, although a bit old. So let's say it's a U.S. order. Ooh, what is that doing? Well, it doesn't really matter. Then you can send it to them, but you're getting the idea on that. Um, okay, let's go back. Oh, I forgot to do something, and that's why it didn't hold. I always unclick this because we would rather email and notify the client properly. But um, with that said, I, if I did click query, I've got to click update for that to hold. And then it tells me when I did this, when I notified the client, and if I did write comments here, I could have kept them forever. And often it's a really good idea to itemize everything. Um, I want to go back. And then I can either create a shipping label, although we don't ship unpaid orders. We could create an invoice and PDF it. Uh, but again, generally, we wouldn't unless they're paid and shipping out. Um, we could have a packing slip, which tells us what they're getting. And then we also could delete the order, which I'm going to do because it really isn't important and it will mess up our accounting. So I'm going to delete that and hopefully that helped you get started.